So I needed uh, this little pick-me-up that was waiting for me when I got home. Um, it was a little bit of an incident. I won't go into it, um, but it was kind of upsetting on my way home. So it was nice to see that this Jackson box arrived, although it arrived in somewhat bashed condition. Um, that might be because Canada Post, it came into Mississauga, uh, which is about 40 minutes from Toronto. It's near the airport, so I can see that. Then it went further west to Stony Creek, stayed there for a while, and then it went back east past Toronto to Scarborough. I know this won't make any um, sense to people who don't know Toronto, but that's a lot of to and fro and going the wrong direction. Um, so I can kind of see why it might be a little worse for wear. But let's get into this. Make sure that everything is okay. And again, um, Jackson says do a really good job of packaging and packaging sustainably. So that's that's nice. And so far, so good. So what I did was, um, Jackson's was having a whole bind sale. So I decided to get a few more gouache tubes and also a few more of their colored pencils that I really like. I have the set of the pastel colors to add to um, my various colored pencils I have Derwent and um, Karen Dash pencils. Uh, so it was a nice addition to that because there were pastels and um, the other brands that I have, I didn't have too many pastel colors. So I did that and I really liked the pencils and there's still some uh, colors that I feel I'm lacking. So I decided to get them in Holbein. And these peanuts, by the way, can be dissolved in water. They just go into water. And, oh, and I got a little Schmincke half pan of the um, titanium gold ochre because someone recommended it. And it's been so long, it was in my basket for so long that I don't actually remember who that was. So these will be tubes. And there's a little note about the sustainable packaging. Let's put that there. Now when you first go on this site, um, because I'm in Canada, it wouldn't show me the Holbein um, pencils. And apparently there's um, an issue with exporting them to the US, but maybe not Canada? I don't know. Um, anyways, when I went through on the Germ German, British side of um, Jackson's website. It allowed me to order them and then when I just signed in with my Canadian address it was fine. So I'm not sure how it works. But I got the brick color and more green because I love forest green. And I got autumn leaf. I do a lot of um, house portraits so it's nice having brick colors like that and I always get grays so I got warm gray number four and cool gray number three and I think the pastel set had some grays but not these ones and finally uh, fur green so they all have the little tags on them which I will be taking off because I, I hate that uh, so these are made in Japan. Um, I got my pastel set through Amazon Japan and um, it seemed reasonably priced so and available. So that was great and it came pretty quickly. Uh, so we'll try those out in a minute. And at the same time I got some Holbein gouache through Amazon Japan. 
I'll list these at the in the comment section. I, I do have an affiliate account with Jackson's. So if you purchase through the link, I get some credit. You don't get an additional price or anything like that. I just get some credit. So it's nice to be able to add to the collection and also test them out for people. So I got, again, green, dark green. These are the um, artist gouache, not the acrylic gouache by Holbein. Because I, I still like to be able to go back in and um, work the color. But I do have some acrylic gouache, so if I want something to stay solid, then I will use that instead. I got the gray number three and the cadmium green deep. And oh, just four. And the Prussian blue, because I don't have a blue like that. In addition, I got. Jackson's is great about having um, color charts from the different companies for their different product lines. And I had a Roman Schmal one from before, but they've added so many colors recently that I needed a, an updated one just to see what I have, what I don't have, I shouldn't be buying anymore, but you know, that's what happens. So that's for Roman Schmal. I mistakenly got the um, My Marie uh, oil. I don't use their oils. Um, I prefer to use water soluble oils. Um, I was actually looking for their watercolor chart, but they didn't have it. But you can get the watercolor chart online. Just when you print it out, it's not, the colors are all kind of wonky. And I got the Shminka wash chart because I don't think I have any schminka uh, gouache. Pretty sure I don't. So I want to see what they had. And I also got the White Knights chart because I do have some of them. I have a set of these pastel colors. And I really, like, I really don't use pastels very often, but there's something that I want to start working on and these will be handy but just be aware that you know they have white added to them so they're a little bit more opaque and a little bit more like gouache and then golden acrylic colors does this amazing hand painted chart of all their acrylic colors and that's pretty amazing i think it was something like 50 cents don't quote me on that, but I think it was pretty cheap. And they show you what's available in heavy body, what's available in open, uh, what's available in their fluid range, and what's available in their high flow range with cute little, cute little codes to go by. So I do have some golden acrylics. Again, I don't use acrylics all that often but I really don't want to. A good friend of mine gave me a pile of acrylics when she was moving west, and so I have a lot of acrylics, but I, I know I don't want to buy uh, ones that I already have. So there's that. And I use Jackson's a lot for my house portraits. It's a really good paper. It's acid free, it's cold press. They have a whole line of papers that you should check out because they're really reasonably priced. Even having it shipped um, was cheaper. So that's their eight by 10. And I, I tend to do my house portraits in that size or starting at that size because it's an easy size to, uh, at least in North America, to get framed. Um, relatively inexpensively. All right, 
So let's test these out. Start with the Holbein. So this is Autumn Leaf. I'll just zoom in. They're really smooth colors. Like I'm hardly pressing and it's it's pretty solid color. Let's try the other kind of brick color, which is called brick. Again, that lays down really, really well. I'm using this page in my notebook because I mistakenly use alcohol markers in the picture on the back. So this is the warm gray, number four. number three. Three? It's hard to read the gold writing. It's three. I do find that because they're so soft, the points don't last very long. And then we have fur green. And that's a really nice evergreen kind of color. Or a green in the shadow area or, yeah, that's really, really nice. Don't think I have anything quite, quite like that. And this is another kind of cool green. It's Part of the forest too, it's forest green. So, oops. I'm just gonna use a water brush for the gouache here. Now I went out today with a water brush that was working and it was one of my favorite water brushes. So it was kind of disappointing. I think the woman beside me while I was sitting in a cafe, I thought I was crazy because I kept hitting it. Oops. Sorry about that. My battery decided to die in the middle of all this. So you might just see it. Nope. It's okay, it's out of shot. So, here we have the Holbein Gouache Cadmium Deep Green. It's a lovely sort of Kelly Green. Uh, tissue. And then the Prussian blue, and that's, that's the kind of blue that I was after. And following that is just dark green. And it's really just a little bit darker than the cadmium green deep. It even looks almost exactly like on the tissue that I'm using. And then uh, grain number three. Oops, get that going. That's a really nice warm gray. And this is the Schmincke, what did I say it was again? 
titanium gold ochre. And that's a really vibrant, um, as it says, golden yellow. I like that. It'll be nice for mixing as well. I don't know where I'm going to put it because my Schwinka palette is full, but I have a palette that's all other, um, so it'll probably go in there. And that is all for the haul. Um, not too much, it still costs enough, but those are the colors that I've got and I'm very happy with them. I think I chose well, even if it was slim amount. And again, there's still a lot of stuff that's not in stock and it's disappointing, but understandable. And I will be putting these to use very soon. Okay, thanks very much.